So my name is Kevin, um, Kevin Blank, and uh, I'm uh, the founder and uh, owner of a film production agency in Zurich. Um, we're in the uh, corporate communications field and uh, mm. basically act as a, a thinking part. So we come up with the concepts and we're in direct contact with the clients. And uh, then we also shoot and produce uh, films and moving images. Um, that's our core. Yeah. I think <clears throat> it looked nice. Um, it looked friendly. When, when testing a tool, a new tool within our team, it, it's very simple. Either it, you know they use it or they don't. I mean, we have basically three spaces. We, I have my personal space where I organize my holidays and stuff like that. Then there is like the, the regular space for the whole team. And there is a more management orientated space where we have a, um, information that is not needed by, by everybody. So I'm going to start at the bottom. So this is literally a huge list of topics that, and this is alive. I mean, if something is missing, we change it. If something doesn't feel right, we change it. Um, but for example, in, in post-production, um, we might work with Resolve. And then um, we have our Resolve grading notes and then it's structured into different areas of the program. And here we have um, tutorials and things we found about it. And maybe we have, a, you know, a couple of months ago, um, two of uh, from my team were taking part in an online course and then they made notes and now they live in here. So we can find mm. them again. The, the know-how part is literally stuff we would like to find again and we drop it in here. And right now, you know, you drag and drop whatever you want. And at some point we have a project and we need this sort of motion control system. And then we go, ah, we had once. And then we go and find it um, when you go to production and there is motion control. I was not prepared. But here is a big list of like stuff for companies and that we um, might want to contact or work with. Moving sort of one closer to the project um, is an area we call documentation. And here we document the way we want to work. We would waste so much time if we have to figure out how the project is built up if everybody works differently. And so we have this documentation part. Um, this is written by us the way we work in certain areas. Creating a mm. project on our website or on any website, you have to, you know, work on the logo. You have to have the titles. You have to have the structure. Many things. You don't want to recreate the same or, or go through the same thought process every time. Um, this is quite new. We created this last year. Um, for a long time, I was looking for a way to consolidate everything we share with the client in one place. A bit like a user login, a user portal um, when you have a service. You know, you, you have an online shop, you log in and then you see your products. Maybe you have your insurance mm. company, you log in and you see your documents and, and your bills. And I wanted to have something like this for our projects, but our projects are always different. So I don't want to sort of, you know, it has shouldn't be over engineered as a platform. Mm. And then I thought maybe we can use the 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 power of craft with the publish uh, function to create a hub for a project. And this is the the, the blueprint. Um, and for a project, we would duplicate this. We would add the visual of the client. We would add the proper title. And then we would add those tiles as we go along during the project and update this page with like important information. And we would simply tell via email the client 
hey, we updated it, it's here, it's there. So they don't have to go through like all their emails and, and, and look for um, this particular link that we sent like three months ago, it's all here. Mm-hmm. So things like um, timing, contacts, maybe even your offers and then meeting notes. And we would just add those. So we would copy and paste basically um, those out of a, a template and we fill them as we go along. And so we, we're on the same page, literally. We also created storyboards. Our projects are most, most of them are based in the surrounding or in the environment of our clients. Therefore, we work a lot with images. Um, we uh, take a lot of pictures and then we create a board or a storyline with those pictures. And so here, for example, um, that, those are pictures that we took during a visit or during preparation. And here we used it to create a structure. Um, we structured them um, with um, headlines and we can even sort of move them around and, and reorder them and, and play with different storylines. Um, when does what appear? This was actually the first time that we used Craft to create a shot list as well. So in the past, we had a shot list in a sheet, uh, in a numbers or in an Excel sheet. And it's all right. It's very not mobile friendly. You sort of have to print it out. It's sort of it's too small or too big. And yeah, it's very static. And if you want to move stuff around or add add something, Excel or, or, or numbers is still very rigid, I guess. Mm. And so we tried to create a shot list um, within Craft. Um, and what we did is um, we, here we have the scenes. It's slightly reduced. It was a little more complicated um, that I made a copy of it. Um, so here we have the, the scene or the shot. And this is sort of the, the image that we wanted to create, more or less. Uh, of course, in the middle and well-framed, but it's a layout. And then we have a, a checklist. So we want to make sure we capture the movement of the arm. We want to see the movement of uh, the press here, and we want to see some detail. And so in planning, we, we came up with those checks. And during the production, because you can see all of this on your mobile as well, we can literally, you know, check the boxes and move on. And and this is the big part. Let's say we move something around. Oh, we want to do this first. Okay, let's move it around. Or we want to, um, oh, let's do this also. So um, we, we, we just add a line. Um, on, and then and then we don't forget. Or maybe we, we, we walk around to another scene and we're like, oh, later on we have to do that. Um, let's not forget that. So it's alive and we, we can just add. And this worked really well. Um, we're a small crew. We're between, let's say, three and five most of the time on a set. And so having a synchronized shot list that you can tick the boxes um, is super cool. I think analyzing how you work is, is super important. There is a limit of this sort of um, self-optimization and, and being even more efficient and being even faster. This is not even the goal. For me, the goal is to focus on projects, on the content, and just losing like everything that is sort of unnecessary overhead. It wasn't like we <laughs> sat down and created the system. Um, I mean, we had we had moments where it was not clear why is it documentation? What's the difference between knowledge and documentation? What, what is a checklist? And this is this is a lot of talking and a lot of figuring out. That just I think being of aware of how you work, like this, is sort of the foundation of becoming I don't know better at work or more more efficient. 
but it, it starts with sort of the analysis and, and, and the awareness 